you come to this class, we will discuss in the next few classes some real case life studies which are current. The first of this set is on cafe coffee day. It was in the news very recently due to the unfortunate demise of its founder, but it is a very good example of a wonderful entrepreneurship in the Indian context, uh, an entrepreneurship which was highly successful. So, if you look at the incidentally all these cases which I am going to discuss are taken from my case studies book including this cafe coffee day. At the end of this uh, case, each of these cases you will find questions. When I am analyzing these cases, I will be answering those questions also. So, this will give you an idea of how to attempt a case analysis in the real context. The case which we first discussed in the beginning of the course on Suryodaya was also a real case if you can recall. It was the introduction of a new product in the Indian market. Then we discussed one more case, how the Toyota company cannibalized one of its very good products namely the Toyota Qualys and came out with Toyota Innova. Now, this is the cafe coffee day. Cafe coffee day popularly known with the acronym CCD is a part of India's largest coffee conglomerate the amalgamated bean coffee trading company limited popularly known as coffee day. So, this, uh, this cafe coffee day owes its origin to the entrepreneurship of one individual by name V. G. Siddhartha. This company was founded in the year 1996. It is headquartered in Bangalore. It is an ISO 9002 certified company. The first cafe of this cafe coffee day started operating in 1996 at Brigade Road, Bangalore considered to be one of the famous up joints in the city. So, frequented by a large number of youngsters, very close to the MG road and it has almost all the representations whether it be from the companies or from the financial institutions just in and around it. Started with this first cafe at Brigade Road, this uh, incidentally kindly note that all the case studies which we are going to discuss, it has updated data till about 2016, 15, 16. Suppose you want to update it further, you are welcome to do it. You can go up to 2019 also. So, this starting with this one cafe coffee day in 96 at Brigade Road, 
this CCD developed 1534 outlets across 28 states of India. It expanded their outlets to Karachi, Vienna, Dubai and Prague. So, one of the first Indian coffee companies to do so. In fact, it remains the only coffee company even to this day to have these types of outlets abroad. So, if you look at the average footfalls for this CCD, it is between 400 to 800 per cafe per day. So, you can expect this type of sales per cafe per day. So, for the first time this company launched what is called the coffee bar concept in India. So, this coffee bar concept in India came out for the first time through this cafe coffee day. From where does this cafe uh, CCD source its uh, coffee seeds? It sources its coffee seeds from 5000 acres of coffee estates, basically from the area called Chikmagalur in Karnataka and it is the second largest in Asia. If you look at the type of uh, growth that it has registered it is quite phenomenal. If, if you see the coffee industry itself in India, it is the sixth largest coffee producer in the world. It contributes to about 4.5 percent of the entire world's coffee production. India has about 170,000 coffee farms cultivating around 900,000 acres of coffee trees. Among this Karnataka accounts for 70 percent of the country's total coffee production followed by Kerala 22 percent and Tamil Nadu 7 percent. So, if you see Karnataka is the hub of the coffee industry in India. It is also the reason that the coffee board, the Indian coffee board is, al is also headquartered in Bangalore. As per the survey of this Indian coffee board, increase rate in domestic consumption was 5 to 6 percent. That is there was an, an, an a grow increase in the rate of consumption of coffee between 5 to 6 percent per annum. Coffee consumption in India had increased from 94,400 tons in 2008 to 1 lakh 45185 tons in 2015 that at that time provisional figures the exports comprised 80% of india's coffee production while only 20% was utilized for domestic purpose in other words most of the coffee that you may be drinking abroad might have come from India only. Okay. You might be taking coffee in the United States, but that coffee the origin of that coffee may be from India and will be mostly from India. So, this is the way the Indian coffee industry has grown. And this is represented on the right side by this graph, 
how it has grown and what is represented on this in this graph is also given an explanation on the left. So, if you look at some of the important events with respect to this coffee industry since 1975 traditionally growing coffee beans started. So, when was it started means it started from the year 1875. Early 90s opportunity arose with the deregulation of the coffee board in coffee day began exporting coffee to connoisseurs around US across USA, Europe and Japan. So, it was some time during this 90s when liberalization took place this coffee day began came in began exporting exporting coffee to the connoisseurs across USA, Europe and Japan. In 96, this CCD was first set up at Brigade Road in Bangalore. So, initially it started doing exporting coffee then started setting it up set up the first CCD at Bangalore in in Bangalore at Brigade Road. In the year 2000, it exported more than 27 thousands of tons of coffee valued at US dollar 60 million to countries like USA, Europe and Japan. Look at the way the growth has taken place. Just within a few years, this CCD was able to export more than 27,000 tons of coffee valued at US 60 million dollars to countries like USA, Europe and Japan. And for the second time in its short career of 7 years retained the largest coffee exporter of India. So, CCD owns that is 2002, CCD owned near 213 cafes in all major cities of India and operated it they operated all these cafes also. It owned and operated all these cafes in 2002. So, it is a, a wonderful story with respect to coffee by an enterprising individual and this CCD was a highly enterprising industry set up by this gentleman Siddhartha. What happened in the year 2008? CCD expanded to 595 cafes across 100 cities in India. Not only did it expand across India, it expanded outside India also opened 3 in Vienna that is Austria, 2 in Karachi and it targeted to expand all 950 cafes in a year from 2018. So, this is the they wanted to expand to 950 cafes from 2008. Then the next milestone of this CCD in 2010 was its revenue touched something like 45 million dollars. It created jobs for 5000 employees, 
in 2010 it owned 1016 cafes in 135 cities. In 2011 according to the brand trust report of 2012 CCD was ranked 150th, 125th among India's most trusted brands and subsequently went up further across also further up as well. In 2013 the same brand trust report cafe coffee day was ranked as 210th among India's most trusted brands. In other words, it came down a little. It received the prestigious Shell Kellen Shell Helen Keller award of 2013, which recognized CCD's contribution towards the improvement of lives of persons with disabilities by encouraging change in recruitment attitude. In other words, CCD was uh, encouraging a appointments for physically challenged people also. It gave number of appointments for physically challenged individuals as well. By 2014, the turnover of CCD had registered rupees 25 billion. So, Many times one question is asked, what is the question that is asked? How many zeros are there in a million? So, if you look at the number of zeros in a million, it is 6. How many zeros are there in a billion? The number of zeros in a billion is 9. Okay. Sometimes people ask you, do you know how many zeros are there in 1 crore? So, the number of zeros in 1 crore is 7. Okay. So, so, in one of the popular debates which was going on on the TV, on the state of economy in the country. They were uh, the persons who were in the debate, one of them was saying a person relate uh, associated with perhaps one of the political outfits saying that we are targeting 5 trillion dollars as India's economic growth in 2024. So, the other person was asking, do you know how many zeros are there in a trillion? So, he was saying 5 trillion dollars by 2024 and the other person was saying do you know how many zeros are there in a trillion for which this gentleman from uh, this political outfit was not immediately able to give the answer. Okay. So, how many zeros are there in a trillion? In a trillion there are 12 zeros. Okay. So, if you are targeting an economy of 5 trillion, it is 5 followed by 12 zeros US dollars. Understood? Then 1 US dollar, if you put it approximately at rupees 70, this 5 followed by 12 zeros 5 trillion, 
you multiply it again by 70 that will give you the rupees trillion that you can expect. So, approximately you can expect this targeting of the Indian economy by the present government by 2024 to be in the region of 350 that is 70 into 5. So, 350 trillion rupees 350 trillion rupees which is a very tall order considering that the state of economy is not all that rosy. So, we are day in and out day out seeing uh, over the channels that this sector is in problem the other sector is in problem. So, all this may be due to the effect of the global economy as well, but to target such a high growth of 5 trillion US dollars considering the state of economy as it exists today is also a big challenge. So, this is as of C as of 2015 if you look at CCD March 2015 there were 1530 outlets across 29 states of India. So, if you look at the subdivisions of coffee day you had cafe division as CCD, CCD square, CCD lounge. What is it that this CCD sells? So, this is the logo of this cafe coffee day which you are seeing at on your uh, on the right side. According to CCD it sells an experience. So, drinking coffee in CCD is an experience. It is a popular hangout spot that offers a wide range of food and hot stroke cold beverage options. So, this is this is the main this thing of this uh, cafe division typically located in central locations that literally advertise themselves. So, uh, you find all these CCD outlets in very popular locations and they do not require a separate advertisement that location itself is an advertisement for CCD. So, even if you look at uh, Bangalore airport you have the CCD outlet in many of the lounges. So, you go to the plaza lounge you have the CCD uh, you see CCD coffee is being served. So, the coffee that you get in the lounge in the Bangalore airport basically comes from CCD. Coffee day express what is this coffee day express? It is a small format convenience coffee that offers hot and cold beverages. So, if you do not have that much time to hang out you have the coffee day express where you can get your coffee quick and for customers who are on the go this is the type of coffee that you have in the lounges in the airport. So, you do not have lot of time but you can get this variety of coffees whether it is the cappuccino or whether it is the filtered coffee or whichever. So, there are 3 4 varieties which they sell uh, which they offer you in most of these lounges and it is attended to constantly by a person 
who serves you these hot coffees. Predominantly located in high footfall areas like malls, railway stations, multiplexes, now add to that the airports also. So, the coffee exports or production, procurement and export this is called PPE. It is involved in selling various grades of coffee in the domestic and international markets. So, this is the arm of uh, this cafe division where it sells it exports this coffee in the form of this green coffee and this RM is called PPE. There is a vending division. What is this vending division doing? This vending division is basically into installation of vending machines at various client locations. You can request CCD to put a vending machine in your location also. So, these type of vending machines are available in many of the software companies as well. So, one of the companies which makes use of this in Bangalore in fact, it had a big outlet of cafe coffee day, it was emphasis. Okay. So, this is so the vending machine vending division provides installation of vending machines at various client locations, then sells consumables for use in the vending machine. There is one more that is a packaging division what does this do? It, it gives you fresh and ground stores that is you get fresh packaged coffee powder in the local market. You can get through this CCD only fresh coffee powder. You can uh, these are also coming from the basically from the coffee estates in and around Chikmagalur. And it had it was selling the largest retailer of co powdered coffee in India. It was uh, in fact, if you take the powdered coffee, CCD was selling the largest powdered coffee in India in 2015 itself. I am recounting to you through all these slides how CCD has grown. If you look at the major chunk of now the next question is how do you segment the market for this CCD. That is what is the target market for this CCD? You are looking at segmentation, you are looking at target positioning in this slide. Who are all the people who are frequenting? Basically, if you look at it, you are having the clientele from above 19 years, below 16 years also, between 16 and 19, between 20 and 24, between 25 and 30 forming the major chunk. So, the group between 20 to 30, if you look at that, it accounts for 57 percent of the overall percentage. So, the youth population they are very very fond of visiting the CCD because it is located in a very central place in most of the cities would like to hang out spend time in the CCD over a cup of coffee discussing so many things. The group comprises mainly college going students and young working professionals. So, this is a type of segment 
which was frequently visiting the CCD. If you look at it, this 25 to 30 age group itself constituting to 28 per, uh, 28 percent. Then the if you look at the 16 to 19 and 20 to 24, 20 to 24 is con contributing to 29 percent, 16 to 19 contributing to 21 percent below 16 also contributing to 13 percent and above 19 contributing to 9 percent. So, in other words if you look at it this is as of 2015 this is how you could draw the segmentation with respect to CCD. So, between above 19 and 20 itself contributed to 20 percent 20 to 24 you had a 29 percent and 16 to 19 you had 21 percent of people of this percentage segment frequenting CCD. The 25 to 30 group was the highest with 30 28 percent. So, this is an illustration of who hangs out at CCD. So, you find the working professionals, you find in the center the aroma hot coffee with its aroma and this CCD cups very prominently getting displayed and you have the last this thing which says that you could do it to start to make a friend or to enjoy. So, basically targeting the youth you could do it may be a stranger with a stranger or you could do it for love of coffee all those types of things which are exhibited here. So, basically if you have some time to hang out CCD offered the place for this hanging out. The other point which CCD did was to venture into multiple formats like music cafes, book cafes, highway cafes, then cyber cafes, then garden cafes. So, these are uh, this is again another type of hangout joints suppose you are going in a highway you find in many of the highways this cafe coffee day again being very popular. So, whether it is the Bangalore Mysore highway or whether it is the Bangalore Mangalore highway or whether you are going from Bangalore to Madras you find these types of highway cafes also being very popular of this CCD. And now they are planning to launch this was some of them might have already got launched the sports cafe, the fashion cafe and the singles cafe. So, the next question which comes who are the competitors for cafe coffee day. You find big names the direct competitors for CCD is barista, then cafe Mosha, Costa coffee, then Gloria jeans, Minerva coffee shop and brew. This is a direct competition these people are directly selling this uh, coffee. If you look at the indirect competitors you are having McDonald's, you are having Haldiram. If you look at the global competitors you have the Starbucks and the Costa coffee. So, in a way you can be 
you can feel proud that an Indian brand has this type of competition okay, and able to do so well. So, this was uh, the direct competition coming from Barista, Coffee Mocha, then Costa Coffee, Gloria Jeans, Minerva Coffee Shop and the Brew. The indirect ones coming from McDonald, Haldirams, then the global competition coming from Starbucks and Costa Coffee. If you looked at the market share of these competitors, this is represented by this diagram. If you looked at CCD, the number of stores as of uh, 2015, it was 1350. Compared to that, if you looked at baristas, it was 318, the Costa Coffee at 100, the Mosha at 18, the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf at 18, then the Gloria Jeans at 17, the Brew World's Cafe at 7 and then you had the Dunedin Donuts at 5. So, this is the way it stood in 2012 September. So, 2012 September only if you looked at the cafe footprint CCD was really head and shoulders above its competitors. So, what have we done? We have traced the history of CCD, how it started, how it went growth how is the growth of CCD till about 2015. Then we looked at what is the type of competition it is facing, who are the competitors. Then with respect to the market, what we did was we looked at what is the type of ma market presence each of these competitors have. So, when we looked at it, we found that CCD was way above to the competitors. So, then we do with respect to CCD what is called the SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. If you looked at the strengths of CCD, it is an excellent brand name and having good visibility, has this 9002 ISO certified certification, a best quality service and taste. So, you can just recently when I was going from Bangalore to Mysore, I could get this coffee in one of these CCD outlets at around 11.30 in the night so, and very hot coffee and very tasty as well. So, then the youth oriented brand, the USP of the brand was uh, though it is costly compared to the usual coffee which is available elsewhere in most of these middle class hotels or these other uh, hotels, common hotels which you frequent whether it is on the highway or in the cities. The USP of the brand is still compared to the ambience that it offers, it says that affordable prices. Then what is the weakness of this company? One of the weaknesses is uh, some of these sites which they have selected for this CCD, there is a feeling that not much thought has gone in, it is a wrong site selection. Though the ambience generally is good, there is lot that can be done further 
to further this ambience, this decor and ambience could be further improved. So, this uh, CCD could copy from this global leaders about this ambience and decor, how that ambience is and try to reproduce or even better the ambience in the CCD outlets. So, of course, it is having competition from other coffee chains, restaurants and food joints. What is the type of opportunity it presents? The opportunity for this CCD is it is the fastest growing industry in Asia and has this wonderful merchandising possibilities. It can tie up with other companies for promotion. So, if it is enterprising enough, it can tie up with many other companies for promotion. You can also tap small markets as well. So, then you may have to do or you may have to tweak your pricing strategies to the smaller markets. And you can look at cheaper varieties of coffee for catering to these smaller markets as well. So, if you look at the threats that this CCD is facing, terrific competition from Barista, Mochas, Gloria Jeans, Costa Coffee and Starbucks. There are other players also who offer this hangout locations, it is not just CCD. There is lot of competition for CCD from this unorganized market. So, terrific competition for CCD from unorganized market. Many times CCD is dependent on government commodity rates. So, the type of uh, pricing the government gives for this coffee industry, how it is going. So, CCD is dependent on that also. So, this slide presents to you how you should do a SWOT analysis for a company. So, what we have done here is a SWOT analysis for a company like CCD. We will stop here, we will continue very shortly.